So, welcome back to another episode of Bakemonogatari. Now, in the previous episode, we started the Nadeko Snake arc. And we met Nadeko, who I think she was either a classmate or just a friend of Ar one of Aralagi's sisters. And she has this vivid memory of playing with Aralagi when she visited their house. And then she also has these snake marks around her entire body, which are going to be basically the main point of this odyssey that's... Um, that she has, right? So it's gonna be interesting seeing what those are all about. She also goes regularly to the sh to the snake shrine and just the like chops up snakes and I think into five pieces it said, and then just tapes them or like nails them to a tree. It's really weird. I think she's doing some kind of um, sacrifice, some kind of cultish uh, ritual that for something. I don't know what. But I guess we'll find out in these episodes. So, um, also we started the Renal Circulation arc. Yes, yes, it's a banger of a song. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's find out more about Nadeko and more about this snake oddity in this episode, shall we? So, if you want to watch this Uncle and Blurred, it's going to be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Bakemonogatari episode 10. ジャギリナはね、まず間違いないだろう。アララギナ。ジャギリ、ジャナは、ジャギリナ。そのものそのまま口縄って言われることもあるけれども、口縄つまりヘビか。もしもジャギリナはってどんな意味か知らないけど、
Oh, that's your house? I have a feeling because up until now every single oddity I think yeah I think so every single oddity has been calmed in the way where the person had to face the oddity right they had to somehow come to terms with because the oddity is always like a metaphor for something going that's going on in their lives and they had to come to terms with that or like face it head on it wasn't something like oh let me just use this talisman on you and you're gonna be fine right it always has they always have to face the thing that is causing the oddity you at least up until now i wonder how this is gonna work here oh wow theatrical cut jesus christ So it does restrict her. So she's just bearing it? Jesus Christ. I know, right? Middle schooler. So she made the curse worse? Shinobu? Oh! Wait, she is... Oh wait, so vampires are supposed to be the kings of oddities. Okay, so vampires are oddities. They're like living oddities, but they're like kings of oddities. Okay. Or like living. I guess they're und you they, they could be considered undead. I don't know. I don't know what kind of oddity they are, but they are considered the kings of oddities. And she is considered like of a noble pedigree. Of what's it called? A noble bloodline or whatever. Um wait, let me go back just a tiny bit. Um Insignificant place. That was before Shinobu-chan came. A legendary... Yeah, le so she's a legendary vampire. She's not just a vampire. Vampires in general are kings of oddities, but she's not even just a normal vampire. She's a legendary vampire. A noble... Pedigree? Is that how you even say that word? I think so. The king of oddities is the vampire. Whoa, that's interesting. And he used to be one as well. That makes sense. I feel like they probably need to, right? Oh, 
責めてるわけじゃないんだが大丈夫なのかなって思って締め付けられるようでいたいけど我慢できないほどじゃないよ我慢しなきゃいけないのがそもそもおかしいんだよ痛い時は痛いでいいんだその通りだぞ縛られるだけならまだしも縛られっぱなしというのは存外肉体的にはきついものだからな縛られることをまだしもと表現する理由もあの精神的な傷を除外した理由も<笑>僕にはわからねえよ頑張る<笑> That's true, actually. Tied up, being tied up, theatrical cut. She's being tied up, she's being suffocated. Interesting. Five. Five. Hmm. Turigate has a five on it. She chopped the snake into five pieces. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much. I think the other Turigates don't have any numbers on it. Valid? Oh! That's how it is? Oh. That's why it's a key memory. Thank you. Thank you for a commercial break. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Arena circulation. Instrumental version. Slow down. The chain came off.
Oh, it's working. Right? You set off a flag. This is a flag. Yeah, because of Shinobu. She is not feeling good, is she? Is that normal? That's a sick shot. That looks like an eye. Jesus, the camera shots, man. Camera! Wow, that's a nice saying. Miss Class Rap, she forgot it. So, Anika forgot about everything. Okay, wait, before we go into... Whoa, before we go into this arc... Oh, let me, talk, let me think about this. So, basically, he's saying that... Oh, interesting. So, Araragi is basically partially vampire, and that actually, as we've seen, that helps him out in, like, getting rid of other oddities, right? And he also is using that kind of as an excuse to help others with their oddities. Uh, but Oshino, just like Oshino said, you could always just abandon Shinobu and go back to being human. Right? Um, but it feels like Araragi definitely uh, wants to keep helping people and wants to at least use this as an excuse to help people, right? B saying like, oh, I am partially vampire, so it's easier for me to help. Maybe? Uh, yeah, he definitely feels like he just wants to help everyone out. And I have a feeling that might come and bite him in the ass at some point, but maybe not. Hopefully not. Uh, I guess we'll see. But interesting. Also, I like the saying when, what did they say? Uh, when someone places a curse to people are cursed or whatever. Um, saying that when you basically curse someone, you and the one that you curse get affected, right, by it. Um, it's not a one-way street. I like that. <laughs> Jesus! Huh? 
It was from the inside. I just spit everywhere. Oh, wait, what? Two people cursed her? The guy as well? Oh, that's a big snake. Oh. oh, the way they animate is so brutal, man. Look at the leg! Oh, look at how the arm is flailing! Oh! Ah! Dude, this is so nasty! One. Jesus. He's poisoned. Here it is, it's a two-way street. It all, all comes back to this. It's a two-way street. Slunk.
諦めきれなかっただけだおやみお兄ちゃん助けてくれてありがとうやめてくれ戦国お願いだからありがとうなんて言わないでくれ<笑>お前からそんなことを言ってもらう資格はない僕はあろうことかお前を呪った人間までも助けようとしていたのだからウェイワオレディガーデンガーデンソーガーデンガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデンソーガーデ I'm guessing a two episode arc, which is interesting.、Um, but wow, this was a great arc. It definitely、uh, showed a bit more of Aragi as a character, definitely showed some of his flaws and of him being、um, too nice, maybe, or having a bit of a hero complex, thinking that or wanting to save everyone,、um, even if it does end up hurting him a lot. So I feel like that's how his you know, excuse of being a vampire comes in because he can. No matter how much he gets hurt, he can still make the excuse that, oh, I'm a vampire, so I can heal back. I can help everyone because they can't heal the wounds that I can heal, right? So it feels like he's definitely、um, using the fact that he's a vampire to kind of, as a guise, to help others.、Uh, where at the end of the day, I feel like he's gonna have to learn, just as he did here, that he can't save everyone, right?、Um, but apart from that, even Nadeko, she's an. Interesting character. She seems like she has a crush on Araragi, right?、Um, which makes sense. He helped her out when she was the loneliest, right? And when she was at her lowest. So it makes sense that she kind of developed this kind of childhood crush on him that kept persisting and kept going on and on and on until today.、Um, and I actually really like the,、um, the entire lesson of. If you curse someone, two people get cursed, right? Or like a curse is a two way street or what, what do they call it? It's a two way hole or whatever.、Uh, um, so, yeah, it's actually really interesting how they did it. So, because Nadeko got rid of her curse, that, that curse ended up going back to the person who cursed them. So, interesting, 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 interesting. Ah, this is a short arc, man. I'm, I'm sad because I want to see more of Nadeko and I want to hear, <laughs> I want more of Rena's circulation.、Um, Yeah, it's such a banger of a song. But yeah, I am excited to see. We don't have that much more of this season, only five more episodes, yeah, of Baki Monogatari. And then we're going on to the Hizu Monogatari, which is going to be hype as well. But yeah, five more episodes of that. And then we move on from that. But this has been a really, really cool short arc. And on to the next one we go. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.